Good morning, everyone. Love you. I love you so much. I love sharing my Bible study and my videos with you all. So right now I'm in my kitchen area, and I just got done having a Bible study, a morning Bible study on my day off. I love it. This is how I choose to start my day. I just love it. I just love, love, love being in the Holy Spirit, learning, and all these good things. But today, after my Bible study, here, I'll show you. I have three of these little books. This one's a morning, evening, devotional, whatever is lovely. So for today, the 21st, October 21st, the title for this passage is Various Gifts. Various Gifts. God has given each of you a gift from his great variety of spiritual gifts. Use them well to serve one another. 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 10. We all have something we feel most alive when doing. Call it a hobby, a talent, a passion, or a niche. We find that things we both enjoy and excel in it's one of the most special discoveries. God has created us each with a unique skill set. He blessed us with talent that both distinguish us from others and complement us to others. He gave us these gifts so we as a whole, created body of believers, could further his purposes and advance his kingdom. God. I am thankful for the gift that you have given me. Help me to recognize that without you, I wouldn't have these gifts, and that you want me to use them for your kingdom. Yes, God blesses us with gifts different from one another, talents and gifts. And when he blesses us with these gifts, he does not want us to stuff them, keep them hidden, keeping the treasure hidden within us. He wants us to express his love through our gifts that he has given each and every one of us. He's blessed us with different talents and gifts that makes us unique from one another. So he does not want us to hold on to our gifts. He wants us to use them as a blessing, to share our gifts. Do you have the gift of speaking? Then speak as though God himself were speaking through you. Do you have a gift of helping others? Do you? Then help people. If you have that gift and you have passion behind it, then help people. There's a lot of people in need. They can use your help, whether it's physical help, financial help, uh, verbal, emotional, comforting, Use your talents, use your gifts, and bless others. Do it with all the strength and the energy that God supplies. Then everything you do will bring glory to God through Jesus Christ. All glory and power to him forever and ever. Amen. And that was 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 11. Think for a moment about the specific gifts God has given you. Don't be modest. God gives us gifts so we can be confident in them for his glory. Now think about your gifts in direct relation to the kingdom of God. Think about it. And use them. God gets the glory. And there's a payback. There's a good feeling when you're in alignment with your gifts and talents. It's a fulfillment that... It can't be explained. It's just there, but it feels good. Sometimes it's hard to know what your talents are, especially if they don't seem spiritual. Be confident that all of our skills have been given to us by a good God. So ask him where he wants us to use. Ask him where he wants to use you and then believe him to supply you with the energy for it. So 
So ask God when he gives you a gift or a talent. Say you don't know you have a gift or a talent, but you have a great passion for something. Ask God, is this a gift from you? How would you like me to apply it? How would you like me to use it? He'll give you the resources. He'll give you the how-tos. But you just got to listen. God, show me the gift that you have given me to use for your kingdom. Sometimes I cannot see how certain talents and ambitions of mine have much to do with your kingdom. Give me wisdom to discern what is the best way to submit my talents to you. How can you use your gifts to benefit the church? The church, the people, people in general. That's the church. The community and the world. So, find out what your gifts and talents are from God. Ask Him to help you to share your gifts and talents with the world, with the church, with the people. Don't run from them. I always had a problem with, I would run. I was a runner from Christ Jesus. I knew I wanted to serve him. I knew I wanted to get his word out there. For people that just don't know how to read the Bible, they do not know where to begin. But I always ran from Christ Jesus. It's like, um, really? How can you use someone that's so messed up and so uneducated and this, that, and the other? Why would you put me out there to look like a fool, to look like an idiot? And uh, as I started being more and more obedient to him and less of myself, then it became natural. But at first, when I first started this YouTube channel to bless hurting people that was going through the same thing I was going through, the COVID-19 pandemic, it, I was fearful. And I stepped out on faith, but very fearful, and I had no courage. And my sister Kelly, Renee Watson, said, why don't you start a YouTube channel, Kimmy? I said, what? No, there's no way. She said, yeah, start a YouTube channel. So who knows? God might have been talking to my sister about prompting me to start a channel. I don't know, but I know now looking back a year and a half of doing numerous different videos, I'm more confident. I feel blessed, especially when my viewers will text me or call me or message me in the Facebook Messenger and tell me they needed that particular video, that particular time, that particular day, then I feel God's work is not in vain. Like, God, speak through me, use me. I'll do it. I won't no longer run from you. I will be obedient. I'll do these videos hoping that I can reach one person, just at least one. But if I can reach 100,000 or how many he wants me to reach, I'll reach. But he does not use polished up people that's perfect. He uses his people that's genuine, kind, messed up, that need him, that gravitate to him and be less obedient to them, less, um, not obedient, independent to thyself. You have to be dependent on Christ Jesus. When you give up everything, your dreams, your goals, your ambitions, your children, your marriages, your lovers, boyfriends, whatever it may be, your job, your income, your place of living, your vehicles, your health. There's so many to mention, but when you give all that up, Get it all together, collect it all, give it all over to Christ Jesus and say, you know what, this is the last time I'm going to relinquish this wheel and I'm not taking it back. I don't want to steer my own life. I want you to help me steer it. Then he can use you and then he can work in you and he will bring out your gifts in you, but 
if you have questions, like I used to have questions, like, Lord Jesus, what are my gifts from you? And when you show me your gifts, I won't run. I'll, 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 I'll use my gifts that you bless me with, and I'll bless other people with the gifts. So, personally, I think my gift, because I got a gift again, people say, my gift is to make these videos and talk to you all about the love of Christ and to never give up, stop being so hard on yourself when something does not work out accordingly. Self-love, it's okay. It's okay to love you. It's healthy to love you because if you love you, you can love others. And most importantly, include your higher power. My higher power is the Lord Jesus Christ. I don't condemn anyone else who, whatever they do in life, that's their business. But I tend to my own business, and my Lord gives me strength every day to do whatever I want to do long, as long as it's in his will and not of my own. So he gives me the strength. So with that being said, I've been doing these videos now almost two years. I got 44 subscribers. I think that is adorable. It is humbling. It is a beautiful lesson to me. And I don't know who my subscribers are. That's funny, but it's the truth. I don't know who subscribes when they subscribe to my little YouTube channel. But it is a beautiful feeling inside. So thank you for watching my videos. I'm going to try to do more videos now that I'm getting settled into my new home. And I hope my videos are a blessing to you from God. I hope when I do these videos that I reach you in the moment, that God reaches you in the moment, that he is answering you in that very moment. I love you and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. If I could turn this video off, that'd be nice.